Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to come at you guys with a new video and it's going to be another different kind of video to my channel. I have been trying and experimenting with new ways of planning and new videos to bring out for you guys. And today I'm actually going to be using my notes pages and my deluxe monthly planner by Erin Condren. As you guys know, I do use this planner as my budget planner. So anything that, that has to do with my finances is what I use it for. And this is the colorful one. So you guys know that I do sort of like a weekly check-in, my expenses in, in a monthly view, and my budget as a whole, as well as I do other pages on my planner. But this time I'm going to go ahead and flip you guys back to the notes pages, which are the pages on the back of all the months. And this is where I'm going to be working on. And for today, you guys may have already noticed by the title of this video, but I'm actually going to be doing my boyfriend's monthly budget for January. So me and him actually were just talking about what other videos I could get up on my channel. And he was the one who suggested this video because he actually just moved to San Diego which is where he's working at right now. So he definitely wanted me to help him out with creating a budget and everything like that, just so he wouldn't overspend on categories like food, eating out. This is going to be his first ever budget. So I'm going to go ahead and do it on this page. And off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys that I am going to be giving out his real numbers. So all of his budgets are going to be with all his real numbers, his real pay on a monthly basis. So. This video is super different because as you guys know, I don't usually enclose how much I earn, but he definitely wanted to make it a lot different for you guys to see my whole setup with real numbers. So you guys can go ahead and thank him. So we're going to go ahead and just get started. We actually did sort of an overview of it. I talked to him over FaceTime, so we are A-OK -okay with the whole system and the whole different categories. So. As you guys know, I love using stickers, so I'm going to be keeping it really minimalistic on this spread because it's obviously for my boyfriend. But um, I'm going to be using some of Erin Condren's sticker books since I did bring them on my trip. I have the Always a Reason and Season to Celebrate. This one is actually not available online anymore. They have this one now. But I'm going to be using this just because I have the stickers. And then this is the other one which is available. This is the Classic Collection Edition 3 Designer Sticker Books. I'm going to flip just to the January page. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to cover that yellow page flag. So I'm just going to take one of these strips. Okay. And I'd and just write January budget. So Start. I want to go ahead and put this here, but I'm just not. I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm going to start with the income. So for his income, he does have a salary paying job. So I'm going to go ahead and put that. Okay, so I'm going to write income, which he has salary. So I'm going to have income estimated. actual and plus or minus so I'm going to get my ruler I don't know where my other ruler is at, so I'm going to use my new one and I'm going to go ahead and leave another space right there on the income because he might have a variable income this month so I'm going to keep it like that and we're going to put total so for his income he is estimated to be getting $3,100, so $3,100. I think that should be the right amount. If not, it will vary um, depending if he works overtime or not. I believe he said he was going to work overtime. I'm not really sure. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just sort of separate the income from the next expenses that we have here. right there so then I'm going to go ahead and write out the expenses so for the expenses we have 
our setup which has expenses. I'm actually going to take this out because it looks a little blindy on camera. <laughs> so I'll put it at the end. So then we have budget, which is the amount we're going to budget for him for the month, the actual, and then the variances. Okay. This is just a setup that I use and that has been working for me. So he did want to go ahead and base it off of that. So for his expenses, the first expense that he has is rent. He does, unlike me, have to pay rent because he is living in an apartment by himself right now. So for rent, he usually pays around $1,300. Then we have for his electric slash gas. So we're going to put electric slash gas. He's going to go ahead and budget $70 just because it's been around that the past two months. It might be a little bit higher this month because he wasn't there for most of December and he really wasn't there for November. So we will see about that. But that's what we're going to budget for him right now. Then for his cable slash internet, He is going to budget $133. He actually said that he was canceling his cable. So I think this might be the last month that he has to pay that much. I'm not quite sure. Then next for his gas for his car. We're going to head and budget $250. And the reason we're budgeting so much is because he usually comes home for the weekend. So he drives from San Diego to LA pretty much every weekend. So he does waste a lot of gas doing that, so that's why it's so high. Then next we have groceries. And for groceries, we're going to go ahead and budget $200 for him. Next we have eating out. And you guys are probably going to get horrified by the eating out amount. But we are, we are budgeting $200 for him as well so we have two hundred dollars for groceries and two hundred dollars for eating out and the reason it, the eating out is so high is because he usually eats at work with his co-workers so that's sort of like an eating out expense that he has monday through friday every single week so that's just why it's super high we'll try to decrease the amount but like i said it's just his first monthly budget so don't be too harsh on him. <laughs> Next, he does want to have an allowance for himself. So this is going to be for things that he likes. So he really likes to collect Funko Pops. So that's basically where this is going to go, if not other things that he wants to buy during the month. And we're doing $100 for this. Then we're going to go ahead and for the next category have house cold. So I don't have this category because I don't really need it leaving at, living at home. But this is going to be for anything that runs out at home. Whether it be like toothpaste, shampoo, paper towel, toilet paper and stuff like that. He actually also wants to get a desk this month for his apartment. So we're going to go ahead and budget $100 for him. For that which I don't think he is going to exceed but we're just gonna go ahead and put it on the budget so we're conscious of the possible expense that might be coming up this month then for his bills he has Spotify and since he's already a graduate he has to pay the regular Spotify fee which is $10 for his last bill he does have to pay his student loan so as you guys can see unlike myself He's not in debt. The only, the only thing that he's in debt for would be his student loans, which he plans on paying off rather quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and put that. His, the amount that he's going to pay this month is going to be 210 So as you guys can see, he doesn't really have to pay for expenses like credit card bills like I do, but he does have all the other expenses that I wouldn't have. So you guys can sort of see right there the difference between us. And then we're going to have, he's going to start having a sinking fund. And if you guys would like to see his whole sinking fund set up and what categories he has, go ahead and do let me know. I can go ahead and show you guys whether it be on here or on my Instagram. And then last but not least, we're going to have our own budgeted section because we all have budgeted expenses that we 
don't take account for in the beginning of the month. So we're going to not budget anything, so it's $0. And I'm going to go ahead and just make our lines here rather quickly. So that is how this looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and add up all of his expenses. So he has... 1300 for rent, 70, 133, 250, 200, 200, 100, 100, 10, 210, and 215. So as of right now, all of his expenses add up to 2000, 2000. $788 and obviously at the end of the month we will have the actual and then the variances and this will really help him see how much it is that he went over budget or is under budget and that's really nice because he can actually see if his budget is working for him or if he's taking accountability for his expenses so I'm going to go ahead and subtract this from his salary just so you guys can see how much he could potentially save. So $312 are his potential savings, meaning that he's going to stay exactly in these numbers. So if he were to, let's say, spend less on these categories, his savings amount would be higher. And if he were to spend more, his savings amount would be lower. So that's sort of how I'm going to go ahead and set that up for him. Like I said, it's not super fancy or not really any stickers at all, except for that one I'm going to go ahead and put right now, just because it's just for his own records. So I'm going to go ahead and probably tear this page up for him so he can have it in his kitchen, probably by his calendar. I'm not sure yet, but I will try to do that for him. So that's pretty much it for this budget. I hope you guys like seeing sort of new expenses and me actually showing you guys real numbers for somebody, which is my boyfriend, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. I think $312 is a pretty good amount considering he has a bunch of things that he has to pay. But like I said, things like eating out could definitely decrease in order for him to have an even bigger savings amount but that's totally fine he's going to go ahead and take this and really be accountable for his expenses as of now so i'm really happy that i got to do this budget and that he let me basically show you guys all of his income and expense information so last but not least i do want to go ahead and mention that if you guys would like to see his whole budget results for the month because i don't foresee myself doing weekly check-ins for him but if you guys would like to see his whole results for the month of january just to see how well he did with his budget then do go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below letting me know you would like to see that at the end of the month and that's pretty much it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already and tap on that notification bell just so you guys can get notifications whenever i upload a new video and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys mm -hmm.